Howdy everyone, welcome to Spaghetti Tumbleweed. Today I have a couple of Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker items to share with you today. This is the current box for the Happy Meals at McDonald's and it's so gosh darn cute. These figures are really cool. I'll show you the three that I've acquired so far. There's no food in here, <laughs> just toys, just for aesthetics. Um, now these, uh, coincidentally, I think, make really fabulous Christmas tree ornaments. They're really cool. They come like this. They have these little hangers up top that just snap and then snap back. And then you can extend these to where they have a full body. Really nice. And then on the back here, a little light up area. There's BB-8 in there. This one's probably my favorite simply because I love BB-8 so much. I know uh, it's in the shadows of the Porgs and the uh, Baby Yoda now, but Team BB-8. <laughs> so that's super cool, and they look really great hanging on the tree. I will we'll share a photograph at the end of this video to show you what they look like on mine. And then uh, Han Solo has always been my favorite character, so I was really excited to get this one. Now these are kind of like the Funko Pops, if you collect those at all. The aesthetic is kind of similar. And then a, a little light up figure in there. Really cool, I think that's a really nice touch. And C-3PO. Everybody's best friend. There we go. I think these are awesome. For Happy Meal toys, they seem like they kind of went above and beyond for these, which is super cool. Go and grab one while you still can. And then this, I have another Kinder Joy to open for you. This is a Star Wars edition. This has been crushed in a little bit, but I don't think it will affect the toy on the inside. Um, as in past videos, by now you know that the goodies, the edible part, aren't is gone. <laughs> it's been eaten. Um, if you are not familiar with these, they are egg-shaped, and normally there's another half of this that sticks on the back. You peel them apart, and it has a little spoon on it. And when you open the other side, it has um, a sort of Nutella, uh, chocolatey sort of cream spread on the inside that you can eat with a little plastic spoon. And it has um, little round pieces, uh, about that big, little crispy pieces, uh, two for each container. Really yummy. Um, this is a nice little treat for uh, anybody, really. <laughs> uh, my whole family enjoys them. So definitely check this out. It's a fun little uh, incentive. We'll dive in here and see what we have. Most of these have a little bit of assembly required. Ooh, that's really cool. Pretty nice detail. And these are relatively inexpensive. I think they're only a few dollars a piece. You can find them all over the place. Gas stations, grocery stores, just about everywhere. I know um, I saw these at Target not that long ago. So if you're wanting the Star Wars one in specific, Definitely check out Target if you're having a hard time finding that edition. I'm not sure what all we need to do with this, but I will assemble it and show it to you afterwards. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> That's a really cool pattern though. I would love to have um, like a blanket or a piece of fabric that I could use back here that looked like that. That's really cool. Sort of pop art type Star Wars stuff. So yeah, a little instructional thing here, how to put it together and what it does. And there are the other ones that we could get out of this series. Very nice. I'll be back in just a moment with the completed product of this, and I will also have a photo of me using these on my very own Christmas tree to kind of show you what they look like. Maybe not the classiest ornaments, but um, very cool. <laughs>
thank you very much for watching. I wish you all a very happy holiday in whatever way you choose to celebrate or not to celebrate, and have a very glorious new year. Okay, so in the diagram, in one of the photos, it shows uh, someone wearing this on their wrist, which I think is really cool. Uh, not conventional, not really something you'd be able to participate in daily activities with, but I like it. <laughs> and then um, you're supposed to be able to um, unattach it from the wrist and then set it up in such a way that you can um, like pull this back and then launch the character at the, uh, the targets that they came with, which I set up down here just to show you kind of what you're supposed to do with them. So there you go. That's about as uh, assembly friendly as I get. <laughs> but that's really cool. These are really great interactive little figures. Uh, fantastic for fans. Really fun, especially for the price point. Thanks again for watching.